Hey YouTube, this is Forrest Marquise. I just wanted to make this video. I had a lot of comments, people asking me how I was making these awesome pentagrams. So I figured let's go into the woods and I'll show you how to make some pentagrams. Right now we're in the woods and we're going up about 50 yards. There's no houses around. We're out in the middle of nowhere. It's cold. It's awesome. We're gonna make a pentagram. Your basic pentagram is five lines and five points. It's one continuous line that goes through. You can either enclose it in a circle or not. I choose not to enclose it in a circle because I want the openness. I like to work with the, from a drawing. This is a sketch I made of a pentagram earlier today. It's easier for me instead of freeform five points because when you got a circle you can do the ratios. This is a pentagram that four people are going to be using so we want it to be like 10 feet in diameter. So we're going to Well, we're here at the spot. We found this awesome little grove of beech trees. There's like five around us, and we got this big beech tree that's like probably 500 years old, which is awesome because we're about to make a portal. Basically, the first rule of making a pentagram is you always use the stuff that's around you. Like, you use natural things. If you want to go from the natural world to the spirit world, you have to have a medium that's going to be something dead from nature or something living. Stuff doesn't just die, and stuff doesn't die. Stuff just goes from one form to another. So like this tree, this is a bunch of beech limbs that came off of this big old beech here, which is really cool because awesome. And it's got a rock in the center, which makes an awesome focal point. A lot of people like to do that with pentagrams, and I'm one of those guys. So what we're gonna need is five branches, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start making it, if that's cool with you guys. So here's one that's just awesome. Let's take it. I'm gonna start with one pentagram line, and I'm gonna go bisect it. I'm gonna take this side. Oh boy, it's a big one. We can take it down here, across the way. Take off these excess branches. I'm gonna go ahead and break this to make it straight. Good thing about this, you don't have to feel too bad about breaking these limbs because they've been on the ground for a while and the tree's not using them anymore. So if we can take them back to nature this way, it's pretty good. Just yeah, I'm just thinking, you know, there are five rules of pentagrams and rule one and a half. Don't make a pentagram alone, because if you hurt yourself out here in the woods and you haven't finished the pentagram, then you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. That's why I got a film crew here. Thank you guys. I'm having trouble breaking this. If you can't break it, you just leave it be. It's better to be natural than to force it. Here's another good stick. So we can take this, you've got one line here. You take that, you just start continuing the line. I've got one line here, so I can have a point here. I'll take this down to, it's like a, what's the, what's the degree? What's five, 360 divided by five? Um, 45? So you start with a point here, you get 75 degrees off of that, because 360 divided by 5 is 75, so we're dividing a circle into fives. I'd like to apologize for the math. Um, turns out it was 72 degrees. I'm sorry, Forrest. Sorry, Forrest, it was dark. Got a stick here. Come down. So that's one. Two lines. Then we can take one going this way, another 75 degrees. Here's a good stick. Um, second rule of pentagram. You always have to make a pentagram in the night. Or not in the night, but in the dark. And it can be night or day if it's dark, but it just has to be under the cover of the moon and the stars. Some people use it for Satan, some people use it just, it's really just a portal to the spirit world. The bigger the pentagram, the more contact you have with the spirit world, the more time you can spend down there or up there, you know, whichever way. And then the other part is one, two, three, 
or you got to be in good spirits. You can't go into it ill-natured because if you're going to be ill-natured, then you're going to start a curse. You may not be able to reverse it. You may not be able to get anyone to reverse it. So be nice. You know, that's all. All right. Here's our third limb. Watch out for the living trees. Five times ten is fifty, and pentagrams have five lines, five points. One, two, three. I'm just looking for any kind of stick I can use as a line. Four, five, six. I'm seeing some good sticks right here. This is awesome. I've only gone about ten feet, so and I found a good stick. When you are making your pentagram, the number third rule is you've always got to orient the top point, the first point. That's got to be due, due north, north star. If you take your finger out, um, north is that way. Just because I know. Now I bring this last stick down. So we're going to connect our last points on the pentagram. This is probably the most crucial step. If you've done it out of sequence or anything up until now, you're not going to have a good pentagram and whatever ritual you're going to do is going to suck. I've made a lot of pentagrams and so I know that it's going to work. This right here goes and it's not long enough. Great. It's okay. Don't worry. Pentagrams don't have to be perfect. You can trust me, I've done this before. These are all beach limbs. So this is like a pure pentagram. Right? Oh, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Hey YouTube, it's Forrest here. I just want to go over the five rules of making a pentagram. One, point it north. Two, it's got to be dark. Three, um, Three, you've got to use what's around it within 50 feet. It's five times 10, remember that five rule. Uh, number four, you've got to be in good spirits, AKA be nice. Number five, you've got to leave something behind of yourself. It can be a piece of hair, it can be blood, it can be spit, it can be pee, it can be poop. Um, basically any kind of bodily fluid or piece of your body. I don't like to hurt myself, so I usually just spit. Let's see it. Let's finish it off. Let's finish off this. Let's finish off our pentagram with a little piece of meat. I'll do it right in the center in the focal point. Oh, maybe I'll cry into his blood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. The what? You can totally see a pentagram. Yeah, it's cool. We've got a pentagram now behind the scenes. That's it.